It is said that drinking coffee or tea can be bad for your bones. But how big is the problem? How much consumption of tea or coffee is safe for our bones? Let's learn that in this video. So let's begin this health session. A cup of coffee of about 200 milliliters or 6.7 fluid ounce has about 80 milligrams of caffeine. A similar cup of tea of 200 milliliters has 20 milligrams of caffeine. A can of soft drink or soda is about 355 milliliters or 12 fluid ounces. If it is caffeinated, it will have 50 milligrams of caffeine. So per 200 milliliters of such soda, you will get 30 milligrams of caffeine. Ingestion of caffeine reduces calcium absorption in the intestine and increases excretion of calcium through urine. Experts say that for every 100 milligrams of caffeine, you lose 6 milligrams of calcium. So per cup of coffee, you are looking at about 5 milligrams of calcium loss. A cup of tea would set you back by about 1, 1.2 milligrams of calcium and a similar amount of soda or soft drink would set you back by 3 milligrams of calcium. Now remember, most of us need 1000 milligrams of calcium and our food typically gives us between 500 to 750 milligrams. So somehow we are deficient by 250 to 500 milligrams of calcium on a daily basis anyway. So unless you have substantially weak bones, having one or two cups of coffee or a few cups of tea a day should not be a problem. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please click the like button below. Click in the circle to subscribe to this channel and click in the rectangular box on my left to see more videos on similar subject. Remember, ignorance is a very bad idea when it comes to staying healthy. Thank you.